when you heat it to red hot, you just get to it gets a good cherry red with no orange, and you quench it in whatever medium. When you draw it back, you draw it back and use colors as a guide for temperature because you won't normally have heat treating furnaces and accurate pyrometers and things like that. We're going to teach you then how to heat treat with very basic equipment, but do it well enough that you can make a part that will hold up. Assuming you're not going to make locking blocks and breech bolts. And now we need to figure out how to tell what kind of steel we have. Remember that in the guns, in the guns you're going to have mild steel, uh, medium carbon steel, and high carbon steel. The two most common types would be uh, case hardening or low hardening, low carbon steel, which would have to be case hardened, and many gun parts are case hardened. And then we have high carbon steel or oil hardening car, uh, steel. Uh, there is some water hardening. Now the problem is that if you oil harden or try to oil harden case hardened steel, it won't get very hard because basically the skin is water hardening or medium carbon steel. If you try to water harden, oil hardening steel, it'll set up so much stress that it'll crack. If you try to oil harden, water hardening steel, it won't get very hard if it gets hard at all. So you need to kind of tell what you've got. Now you have a gun part that you don't know what it is. You find a non-critical area. Now I also notice that the block, the sear is now starting to turn just ever so slightly yellow. A very slight brown. That's, that's just about as hot as I want it. Uh, because there's a lot of heat in that plate of steel underneath it. That's acting as a heat sink. This is picking up more heat. You see, I'm getting a little purple here. In the water she goes. Now, I also recommend that you heat things slowly so that the molecules have time to rearrange. If you heat it to temperature real quick and no soak time, not all of the molecules rearrange, so it's not as soft as the color would indicate that it is. That looks pretty good now, so I'm going to kick it off into the water. There's our part. Considerably softer than it was, and now this, this gun can be shot a lot, and this, this particular part will probably never break. And yet, on the normal gun with a normal heat treat, this part breaks after uh, several thousand rounds. Now, this color.